Kamusta mga kabadi? Sa katatapos lang na laban ng pambato natin na si Mystic Tisio kontra sa pambato ng Torque na si Isra Yeldes kung saan panalo po ang pambato natin na si Misty Petitio sa pamamagitan ng split decision na naganap sa Bosto, Arsicio, Italy. At magandang balita po ito mga kabadi sapagkat pasok na po si Misty Petitio sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Kaya narito pong highlights ng kanilang laban. Panoorin po natin mga kabadi. And we are underway. This is 57 kilogram action. At the semi-final stage. Is this one of the two divisions where a quarter-final victory was not enough? The South Pole wearing red. Nasty Potesio seeking to return to the Olympic stage after coming away with Olympic silver in Tokyo in the summer of 2021. As for Yildiz of Turkey wearing blue, is also seeking to become a two-time Olympian. And this promises to be a contest of the highest quality. Please sign up a little bit cagey. Both boxes feeling each other out. Now for left reach for Potesio. Here's an altogether more solid left cross to the solar plexus front. There's the Patricio. Just on the edge of range, making Yildiz fall short. Hard left hand driven to the body once again from Patricio. She is a sensational body puncher. They're looking for the right-left combination once more and digging away from the to the body for the command of stop from the referee. <laughs> Terrific bolo shot with that backhand from Patesio once again. It was good from Patesio going to the body and working away up to the head. She used those quick feet to carry her into range, but she's been long on occasion when attempting the left cross upstairs. overhand left from Patesio. No right jab required to set it up. Got her feet into position. Pivoted her feet into the canvas and got plenty of leverage on it. Bolo shot backhand success to the body once again. Then a check right hook spinning off the ropes. Looking for that same Harlitz River left cross. It was off the mark but the southpaw right hook did score. Long with her attempted left cross and right hook. The two boxers take one another down to the canvas. Boxes spoken to about grappling on the inside. Our house left was inaccurate from Patesio, and look at it continue to dig away to the body of her opponent until the referee says stop. Four commands from the referee in Olympic style boxing, remember? Stop, box, break, and time. Those are the only utterances. Boxer just waltzing one another around at the 10 second clapper and a check right hook then dipping beneath the counter to conclude the round from Nesty Patel. In the, in the center of the ring before the bell's even gone. So a reluctant step back just before the bell by Ezra Yildiz who was outpointed in the first round across the board. A unanimous verdict in favor of Patesio is now was momentarily orthodox and scored re with a reverse one two right hand then left hook now she's back of the port sided boxer leading with a right hand and left hook and it's a lead right hook that scores once again and with Yildiz having to come forward that could well play into Patesio's hands a little bit of difficulty with the head guard she readjusted it beyond punching range but Yildiz has to take it to Patesio now Patesio such an explosive puncher to walk her opponent onto punches now. Nice shot scored by Yildiz, but counted immediately by Patesio, who then had the final word in the exchange with a belting left hand to the body. That's good from Patesio there. He's just controlling her opponent. 
Yildiz really needs to start to work hard. That's better from Yildiz. Trying to pin, pin her opponent down in the corner. It's just getting a little bit messy. Again, every time the referee has to intervene as he speaks to Potessi about her responsibility to keep her head up, the clock continues to elapse. That's a beautiful right hand. Oh. Twice in quick succession from Yildiz. And then looking to target the body. Heels of the glove, forearms going into the face of Potessio, who may be spoken to about keeping her head up. Instead, it's about applying an illegal hold. Not quite sure why Potessio is being so passive through this portion of the round. Here's a good southpaw left cross from her as she goes back to investing in body shots once again. Potessio needs to be careful here. She's getting caught with quite a lot of quite a lot of shots. That was better. And she's also on the back foot. And we know the judges have been favoring a front-footed fighter. Oh, that's a cracking right hand again from Yildiz, who is making a really good fist of this second round, having been outpointed in the first unanimously. Potessio, good right hand to the body and then a left hand to the sternum, and she's busy looking at the referee, but for my money, she needs to be keeping a, a focus on the opponent who is looking to overturn the 10-9 deficit she faces across the board. So Potessio had a brilliant start to the round. It Yildiz again with the heel of the glove into her opponent's face and that is stern admonishment from the referee in the direction of the Turkish boxer. So final 20 seconds and change but Yildiz has responded very well. I'm rather surprised by the comparative passivity of Potessio and sometimes that can be the false security that a 10-9 lead across the board can provide because she's showing good ring generalship pivoting and turning in the pocket but look at the activity from Yildiz there Potessio fires back beautiful head movement to avoid the counter well this second round is going to be very in well final slug of water after the sound of the bell taken on board by Nesty Potessio she took the first round unanimously South Paul left once again landed by the woman in red and Yildiz needs a massive final round to overturn the two-point deficit that she faces for judges one, two, three, and four. Tessio, perhaps she took a breather in that second round, working away to the body. Yildiz spoken to about rabbit punching around the rear of the head. That illegal, of course. Again, she's done it right once more on the resumption. That's because Potessio was dipping her head too low, according to the referee. Good work to both head and body from Yildiz. Good defense for the gloves from Potessio, who's turned into an orthodox boxer now, leading with a left hand, but she's picked off by a right uppercut as she was looking to work her way back into range. Yeah, this is better from Yildiz. She's really working now, working the body of Potessio, and then coming up to the head. This is the right way to do it if she wants to try and get a 10-8 round. Bustling away to the body once more before fashioning a clinch. Tessio knows that she leads 10 8. Four of the five scoring judges. Beautiful left hand to the body. Turned into a left hook to the head from Yildiz. And there she goes body hunting once again. But he's counted upstairs from Potessio. The final word coming from Yildiz with a subsequent oh. body attack. And beautiful uppercut. Oh. Twice in quick succession. During that combination success for Yildiz. Fantastic portion of the round for the Turkish boxer. Tessio needs to, needs to be careful here that she doesn't concede too many too many scoring shots. You see the observer, well you shouldn't be taking your eyes off the what's happening in the ring, but you can see in our peripheral vision one of the international technical officials having to speak to Yildiz's corner about excessive support and coaching from the corner. But they are trying to encourage their boxer to summon up the reserves of energy and produce the blistering combination she's going to need to produce the 10-8 round required to get back on terms. And credit to her because she is going for it as Yield as Potessio oh. continues to fiddle with her head guard. She's being implored to come forward is Yield is and she's doing exactly that. Potessio looking to counter but she's being strangely passive from an awesome offensive point of view then disengaging going from one set of ropes to the other before initiating a clinch. I don't think there's any doubt that Ishildiz is going to win this round, but it's unlikely that it's going to be by the 10-8 portion required to get Yildiz back on terms. But again, Potessio so confident in her ring craft. Nice check right hook from the Tokyo Olympic silver medalist before changing directions and moving counterclockwise with a check left hook. 
Terrific quality produced in the closing stages from Potesio, countered by Yildiz, but Potesio knows that she has done enough. Nasty Potesio! At ano pong opinyo tungkol dito? Pai-comment na lang po sa baba. Hanggang dito lang po tayo mga kabadi. Maraming salamat po.